So Cultivated Cocktails began originally as H&H Distillery. So we began in 2012 with an incorporation and our first product in 2016. Cultivated Cocktails came out of a necessity to actually change our name from H&H Distillery to something else. And ultimately, we felt like we make these spirits and it's not just about the bottle and what's in it. It's about the experience and what you're getting from it. How do you know it? How do you love it? Um, how do you gift it? How do you drink it at all? And, and so we decided that really we were cultivating an experience for people. So at that point we decided that that's really, really the words that we loved and the experience that we wanted to share with the people who came in here and connected with us. Our distilling process is mostly unique in the way that we are making a variety of products, not just you know just one thing or just gin or just rum. Um, so essentially, we make everything rum, gin, vodka, coffee liqueur, creme de cacao. These products. So our distillation process itself is in uh, our facility with natural gas, open flame um, distillation, and that is. Super fun to watch, a little bit dangerous, so that's, that's fun. Uh, but essentially, our process includes a lot of items that do come from North Carolina, and we are able to pull resources um, from places such as Riverbend, Mallet House, and things like that. We're very lucky to have them literally down the road. The community around us is wonderful, so people should definitely come to Asheville, visit, see things. And we are natives of this city, this town. We grew up here, our families grew up here. And so um, this distillery itself is, is home to us in a lot of ways. Making Asheville's first gin, first rum. You know, come try us and everybody else.